Do you want to give more energy to your photo to add a little bit of vivid colors? My name is Stefano and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do it with a color calibration module, a new module of Darktable Free 4. Absolutely fantastic. Check out this video and then try to use it on your photos and let me know in the comment how does it work for you. Okay, let's get into it. I am in the dark room view of a dark table interface and I've selected a few photos I did on a trip in Cuba, fantastic country to visit for travel photography. Now I want to do some magic to this photo of uh, a town called Trinidad in the south coast and um, the magic I want to do it, I want to do it with a color calibration tool which is here. But before going into the color calibration tool here, I want to show you the color calibration tool actually on an image of the three primary colors, the blue, the red, and the yellow, and the secondary colors created by the primary colors. And how the color calibration works just with these colors. And the color calibration is a bit of um, China mixer on uh, steroids. And the part that I love the most is the colorfulness and the brightness. How does it work? Simply when you go into the colorfulness and you increase, for example, the input red, what you're gonna do here, you increase the red pixel Cells, not only in the red color but also in all of the other colors influenced by the primary red color for example if I go to plus one here you see how the change has not only been to the red which is minimal change but also to the other colors uh, uh, that uh, derive from the red color and a little bit to the yellow too what I can do actually I can increase instead of one I can add one plus one and I go two, so you can see even more of a change where the yellow becomes a little bit greenish and the orange becomes almost red. You can do the same for the green, for the blue and uh, the brightness uh, similarly add the brightness only to the um, red pixel, green pixel, blue pixel. So for example if I walk on the red you see that it's gonna add brightness a tiny bit to the red but also to the other secondary colors that creates here. Let me do again a pl one plus one here and you can see how I'm exaggerating this but once you increase the red the orange is almost gone and the yellow takes the place instead. I could spend five minutes here only just on this example but probably is not what you want to hear from me. Uh, probably what you want to hear from me is how I'm gonna use the color calibration into my photo so let's go back and uh, the thing that I have done to the photo before arriving here is a little bit of a haze removal and uh, I gave a little bit of of um, uh, brightness to this photo with the exposure model. So I'm starting from here, it's a little bit dark, I expose a little bit, orientated, and haze removal, and uh, here I am. What I want to do here is to add a little bit of energy to this uh, greenish uh, scenery. And to do that, I go into the colorfulness of the color calibration, and I add a little bit of red. And you see that as soon as I add the red, it all becomes uh, more vibrant, especially into the orangish and green colors. And uh, so I go probably up to 0 06. And the second thing I want to do into is to add also a little bit of blue to increase the orangish walls here and the, uh, the rooftops as well. Now that I've done that, I jump into the brightness part and I want to bright up a little bit of this uh, scenery and I go into the input red and again I add a little bit of uh, brightness here. You see the difference between doing into the red and doing into the green. If you do it into the green, uh, suddenly the green becomes a little bit yellowish meanwhile if you do it into the red the green is a little bit brighter but also the orange is, which is absolutely lovely for a sunset photo another thing I want to do to the photo is to work on this sky I would love to make a little bit darker and I can do that again with a color calibration and uh, I could do it with the input blue and um, I dark it up, you see how the sky is improving. Obviously if I do it to the old photo, it's not gonna work because the lower part is not good anymore. So what I do, I'm gonna add another color calibration, just a new instance, and I'm gonna work on the brightness and I'm gonna decrease the sky here. 
up to this level probably and i'm gonna apply this change only to the sky and to do that i go into the uh, drone mask with a parametric mask i use the gradient mask and i put it here into the sky uh, but not only that I just activate uh, so you can see where I'm working it. I want just to work on the sky. So what I do, I change the parametric mask here to work only in the sky. All done. You see how now my sky has improved a ton. Uh, let's see without. It's a bit overexposed. And now wave. Obviously you can go crazy. But you know, in anything you do in photography, I think if you do small steps, it works better than big steps. Now let's check the change to this photo. So there was before the color calibration tool was applied, and this is after the color calibration tool is applied. You see how the photo is more vivid, has more energy, there's something more magical into this photo. Now let's jump to another photo which um, the color calibration helps a ton again. You see this photo I did it to a friend of mine in a cave in um, the mountain of uh, Cuba during a, a trekking and what I did uh, I added a little bit of exposure to this photo and then I apply the color calibration and look at the change and uh, the change is mostly to the central part of the photo so I'm gonna zoom in into that as soon as I activate the color calibration you see how more vibrant uh, more energy into the photo and what did i do to get to this level very very simple i went again into the colorfulness i added uh, lots of red actually two um not sure what is the unit here but uh, two and if you want to usually you can add only one up to here but if you want to add the two what you do uh, right click onto your mouse and you do a one plus one and that's it very easy so let me get it back to zero and I go to two. You see how the greenish and the reddish comes out in this photo, absolutely beautiful. And um, then I add a little bit of brightness with um, on the red, on the green and in the blue channel. And here it is the end photo. So that's where I started from and that's where I'm ending with the color calibration. So you see how the color calibration is actually a fantastic tool to uh, give a little bit of energy to the photos, uh, to give a little bit more of the vivid colors. I jump to another photo because I wanted to show you something more interesting here. So I have this photo I did in Havana and uh, I've done uh, just a lens correction on it. And then I correct also the perspective. I did a little bit of a retouch just to get rid of the bag here. I cropped the photo to have a, a better composition and then I added also a little bit of exposure to bright up the photo. What I want to do here is to give a little bit of color to this wall and to do that I'm gonna use the color calibration. Again I activate the module, I go in the colorfulness and what I do, I increase the red here. You see how the magic is happening. Suddenly, this wall becomes so beautiful, uh, aqua color. And uh, looking before and after. Before and after. Now, but there's only one problem in uh, color calibration is that uh, sometimes you increase the color here, the input red, you have a secondary color that change for the best, but then you have some other maybe secondary color that don't change for the best. In this case, we have orangish of the bricks and also of the skin here, which is a little bit too saturated. But I can correct that very, very easily with um, the color zone. So what I do, I want to decrease the saturation of this orangish here. So I pick these oranges from the skin here and then what I do, I just decrease it. Done. And uh, super easy fix. You can see before saturated and after no more saturated. 
And that's pretty much it about this video. I hope you enjoy the color calibration module as much as I do. Uh, this is a new module uh, in the dark table in version 3.4. Uh, absolutely fantastic. I'm going to put also a link uh, to a video with a much better explanation of the color calibration tool. And uh, you can see more information also how you can use the color calibration to work on the white balance. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, 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 ciao.